This is the Yaumataka. The name is an acronym of yet another USB mouse and joystick to Amiga, Atari ST and C64 adapter. What makes this device different from other solutions? At first, it utilizes two controller ports at the same time. Second, it supports mice and joysticks. Let's have a look at the Amiga. When it comes to home computers, they usually come with two controller ports. The Amiga is usually operated with a mouse in the first port, while the joystick is plugged in the second. But it gets fiddly when two player action is required. The mouse has to be removed before the second joystick can be connected. Or how about a game of Marble Madness? The joystick needs to be replaced with a second mouse. The Yaumataka addresses this issue. It is plugged into both ports at the same time. It will stay like this and a USB hub is attached. An optical mouse and a gamepad, here a PlayStation 3 DualShock controller, is plugged into the system. The mouse is now usable on the workbench. The joystick can be used for gaming. A two-player game shall be played now. No device is disconnected, but another gamepad is added. There are now two gamepads and one mouse attached. The second gamepad shares the controller port with the first mouse. When the mouse is moved significantly, the controller port is switched to the mouse. If a gamepad button is pressed, it switches back to the gamepad. A maximum of two mice and two gamepads can be attached to the device. Let's switch over to the Atari ST. The system is similar to the Amiga in regards of the controller ports. The only difference is the highly debatable position of the ports at the underside of the system. The Yaumataka cable harness is interchangeable and can be detached for longer and shorter variants. It sits neatly next to the Atari ST after a colonoscopy is successfully performed. A press on the button cycles through the supported systems. The last setting is stored even after power loss. Let's have a look at the Commodore 64. The C64 is different to the Amiga and the Atari ST when it comes to the input devices. The system suffers from games which are using either the first or the second controller port. <laughs> if you play a game you never really know, so you just try a port to check if it's the right one. The Yaumataka also fixes this. Use the select button to perform a joystick swap. The LED will indicate the action taking place. No cable must be detached. If a mouse is attached, it will be presented as a C1351 in proportional mode. Please do not attach a mouse during Amiga or Atari ST mode, as it will confuse the keyboard matrix. The additional features. Three button mouse for all three systems. A mouse wheel on the Amiga using the wheel bus mouse driver from the Aminet, which uses signals from the second controller port to implement the wheel. A separate auto fire button for proper Turrican action. Secondary fire for all three systems. It is open source hardware and software. Feel free to change whatever you like. Right now the device is not sold, but you can grab schematics, PCB layout and the firmware from the GitHub project and build one yourself. Thank you for listening.